Okay, and we are back here where I left off. You know, there was some uh, less deformation happening with this bone, so we're going to go and I'm going to show you how to do it by painting with vertices. So, I'm going to click vertices right here. Uh, the best way to come down and select the arm or the area you want to deform. Right now it's the forearm. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the verts that I want affected by the forearm. I'm going to hit F4 so I can see my geometry and let's go transparent so I can look through here and we definitely want all of these in this ring to be selected so I'm just control selecting got some unwanted verts selected so just alt dragging over those and that looks pretty good let's check the rest out and everything seems to be selected that I want to be affected now slide on down here there is this little button here, the weight tool with the wrench on it. Click it, and you will get this pop-up window. Now, this is showing the vertices and the bones that are affecting them. So, we also have these numbers up here. 0 to 1, 0 uh, affects the vertices, uh, 0. And 1 is full effect as far as the vertices and the bone manipulation is concerned. So, we definitely want these verts to be affected by the forearm. So, we'll click forearm, and we'll click 1 for full uh, full deformation and now the upper arm I really don't want affecting any of those verts so I'm clicking zero and there we go you can tell it's, it's something happened when the location of the bone has moved on to the next one because you've already assigned verts to those bones so let's close this let's test out see if we're get, still getting that same weird pinch that we got in the previous video let's hit skin shift drag this area I probably have the mesh selected I'll select that now I'm only holding this uh, only holding the model's hand and move that around that looks okay this is where we got our weird pinch and much better we're getting a regular fold here um, and that is pretty helpful like I said before make sure you undo so your skeleton is back in its original position click it again and click envelope um, now as we were moving this and it moved up here we were getting a really sharp bend in here so what you're gonna want to do is select this area this row of verts um, you know, I'm just alt dragging, so I only have that area. Oh, see, a little sneaky guy in the back over there. So we just have this ring. Now I want this forearm to affect this area very strongly, and this area not so much. But I still want it to move that area. Hopefully, avoiding that pinch. So we're gonna go back down to the weight tool, and I want to. Uh, it's actually the upper arm is selected. So let's let's close that. I want to make sure I got the forearm selected. I still have those verts highlighted so we're okay go ahead and slide down here weight tool and uh, it's only bringing the upper arm because of those weights are affecting the uh, we've already assigned them to the forearm so I'm going to hit forearm here that's how I do it what well, I, I want the upper arm to still affect these but not as strong as the upper arm to where affect those so I want to hit 5 on this row of verts so it's affecting them but not a full effect and not nothing so there's a halfway point uh, those you know now I know it worked because we moved on to something else and the, this row right here, this row of verts, I also want the forearm to affect, but not as strong as it is. You want to kind of create a slow, gradual drop-off of strength when doing this, um, when doing this version of vertice paint weighting. So let's select forearm. Oh, no, you know, that's the right one. I apologize. Sign that right forearm. Have that selected and slide down here to this weight tool and here's the form again and I want to kind of make that a soft bend so let's close that actually you know what it was saying the upper arm was still affecting that area so let's see if it's still okay upper arm and I want that to affect here but really not so much so I'm gonna probably just throw that down to zero for now because I don't want that to happen um, I'll give a quick test skin I'll select my mesh Pardon me. Move that around. Let's check this other bend out. All right, a little bit better. It's not as sharp as you can see here. I could probably take this vert right here and soften that a bit. Maybe have the upper arm affect that at a small portion instead of zero that I just selected. Maybe setting it at 0.1 would have been a little bit better. But that's not that bad. And I think I've just given you the just you know the uh, the overall uh, you know process of painting by vert. So let's go ahead and undo this so our mesh is back in the original spot. 
Okay, click on envelope, and now we're going to unselect vertices, and I'm going to show you the traditional paint weight tool that is used in Maya. Let me check my time. Let's see, I'm doing all right. Slide down here, and there's the regular paint weights, and then this is the paint weight option box. Uh, go ahead and hit that. Um, when I do this, I like to paint blend weights. I have that off. It's a little bit easier for me. Uh, go ahead and make sure you really check out these settings. Uh, you can set like your min or max strength. I like to keep it within range, so or else this is slightly buggy. It's not as smooth as Maya, so you're going to want to be a little more precise. So I don't want to crank this up too much. Um, my max strength is negative one. I have zero for minimum strength, minimum size zero, max size 3.5. You want to draw on the rig. You don't want to draw the normals, and you want a draw trace. That kind of just shows you like a little, um, a little uh, tail or uh, streak as you paint weight on here. It'll show you, uh, you know, the areas that you've uh, you've marked. I'm using my uh, my stylus pen and tablet, so I like the pressure sensitivity. You don't have to have that on but it, uh, it helps me as far as the way I work. So we're going to go with the left arm now. Uh, we'll go with the left upper arm. And I don't want it to be transparent so I can see what I'm painting. And now since I have my settings in the paint weight tool correct, I'm going to go down here to paint weights. And now I have this little, this little brush. Um, now up here, since I'm at negative, I'm unpainting where this bone is affecting. I only want it to affect that area. So I'm really going to get in here and as you can see, let me close this real quick. If I hit skin, I'll click the mesh and move this around. I'm probably going to get, actually it's not that bad. You know, I'm going to undo what I just paint weighted just to show you what you can expect if you're not paint weighted. You know, it's actually bending fine now. So we'll just keep moving. Uh, envelope. Make sure to go down and turn vertices off. Paint weights. Uh, brush thing. And now select the bone that you want to affect. I'm doing the left upper arm. Let's make it non transparent. Okay. And it, it, I did undo it. Um, sometimes, like when these bones are originally set up, you'll be really, this bone will really affect the rib cage and be pulling the rib cage out. Uh, it didn't happen now. But a lot of times, uh, that is a common thing to experience. So make sure you really get in here and clean that up. As you can see, like there's a little uh, tracer tail on this brush to show the areas I've just done. Let's go in here and clean this up so the bone is really only affecting that, spe uh, you know, the main upper part of the arm. Um, I'm just like clicking here. If I hold Alt, it's Add. If I let go of Alt, it's to subtract. It's taking it away. So kind of like what's happening here. I definitely want these yellow areas in this main part of the upper arm to be red. So I'm going to hold Alt and just paint those red until they're really affecting this mesh here. We probably want it to be red all the way down to the elbow. And we kind of have a nice drop off with the elbow right now. As you see this fade, a little bit of blue right here is probably what we wanted to see over here. And like I said, you can set that up with the vertices and assigning them strengths. Um, you know, but I just kind of wanted to cover all the bases of how to paint weight in case, you know, uh, any specific person finds one much easier than the other. So it's pretty much the gist of it. Um, you can go through here, you know, obviously click on the left forearm, keep it off of the hand, unpaint this, just get nice fades. Take you know, take your time when doing this because if your animation needs to have some detail in it. Doing this correctly now will really allow you to animate without issues happening. Once you start animating, going back and tailoring this stuff um, is a little bit tedious because uh, Max really likes you to keep the mesh where it is. So we're just kind of taking some of this off so I can alt click and really get you know the upper and bottom forearm fully affected. And now I can kind of paint in my fade as you see, kind of pulling my. Uh, Stylus pen up as I'm getting closer to the hand to get a little fade. Let's quickly hit skin and give this a test. See how the uh, see how it's looking. Pretty nice. We're not getting you know we're getting a little bit of a hard bend here. I think the form is affecting this middle part a little much. So let's undo, get this back to where we were. Hit envelope. Um, I think we're still in the paint weight. So I'm looking for the left form. Yeah, and it's going a little high up here. So. Uh, slide down, 
you know, reassign it to paint whites and you know, take it off of there. And, uh, and that's pretty much the gist of it. You're going to want to go through and detail it as soon as you're done. Uh, you can get ready to export it and Julia in the next video is going to be showing you a, a skeleton that already has a rig and an animation on it and how to apply different textures to it so you can take a basic mesh and change it up if you need to. And like I said in, in the following video after Julia's, Tyler will show you how to get the animation to actually play in UDK. So I think that's going to end this, uh, this portion of the tutorial. Uh, I hope it was helpful and good luck setting up your characters. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you.